So at the st so after those first two, when, we're, when we know we're about to get the ball back, yeah. yep. Um, you know it's <laughs> it's it's funny because it's deja vu. Just standing here, I, I looked at Rodney. I said, "Hey, man, pr protect it up. We're just gonna play catch outside." And uh, I didn't. I won't say that, but <laughs> I'll say this: the mood was. Everyone knew we always have a chance to win. Um, the guys that have been around understand that we've done this, I mean, a lot of times, you know, uh, uh, over f the f five, four or five years, five years now. Um, you know, that in the NFL, we've been on the other side of things too, where all the games are so close. And it's almost like every week we turn the TV on and see someone winning it late or, you know, that kind of stuff. And so we, we all believed. There was no very doubt. There's been times where we've believed and we didn't win, you know. Uh, but it was the same, it was the same feeling that, you need to have same mentality, same look in everybody's eye, and if it was different, I, I mean, I'd let you know. But it was, it was not. It was everyone's that look in their eye. It, it just is a little different when it's, you know, hey, this is probably our last chance, you know, kind of a thing. So it was good though. On the uh, throw to Marcel there on the last drive, what makes you trust a guy like that who has two career catches? Probably. <laughs> you talking about the first one, uh, the first There's play, the or the the deep ball, the, the, the go route? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, at that point, it doesn't matter who's on the field. I got to just do my job, you know, because game's on the line. It's not like I could throw it to this guy, I could throw it to that guy. Let's go with Joe, you know, or Brandon. Uh, you know, I, let's, let me, I'll throw it to Jared, you know, he can get one later. Game on the line for certain coverages, I'm going to try and manipulate defenders and he, whoever's out there, they just have to win. That's their job, you know. And he did his job. He made a heck of a catch, keeping his feet in. I didn't see the replay, but it looked tight, you know, and for him – to do that with, in his first start, first game, all and everything going against him, right? He didn't get the uh, the two minute drill. We didn't get to run that live this week. He didn't get his red zone reps live. He didn't. Get, all of these things that would mess with a rookie's head, it didn't affect him. And he did his job. He got to his landmark where he, at when he needed to be there, and it was all him, man. He made a heck of a play. He got game ball for it. Uh, it was awesome. Speaking of deja vu. Do you have a deja vu from training camp with that same play down that same side? We talked about it this week. Yeah, you see, you, you kind of put your chest out on that one. No, <laughs> you called it. No, uh, you know, I, it was because, again, that's the trust, right? It's game on the line. doesn't matter who's out there. I know he's out there. I think I threw it to him three times on a two-minute drive. Um, you know, I, we'll probably – a lot of people think you're crazy, man. It's rookie, especially the first one on Pat P. Like, what are you doing? You work somewhere else. Um, but – I, I trust him, you know, I, I really do. I, I trust him. Uh, he's proven it over and over again. He's tough. He loves football. Um, and obviously he had some mistakes, little things that he'll want to clean up. But for him to go out there and do that, I mean, it was, it was awesome. It was a little bit deja vu. But this time we got to hit him in stride a little bit, not, not the jump ball. So it was good. TV cameras caught you and John a couple times having a disagreement there. How would you describe those, uh, those conversations? You know, that's funny, man. You know, I'm surprised it's the first time that they've caught us. Uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's, not, it's not the first time him and I have been that way. Um, we're both very fiery. A lot of people don't see that in me, right, not all the time. But uh, <clears throat> we're both very fiery, both very competitive, minor disagreement on something. And uh, uh, the beautiful thing is, is when we do that, it's never like a demeaning thing or pointing a finger. It's just... We're both yelling the same kind of thing, almost, you know. And let's just, all right, well, let's fix it, you know, that kind of a deal, you know. And uh, it was, again, it, it's not the first time. I, I doubt it'll be the last time, but everything's good, I promise. We hugged about it. No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know. you look at the old tapes from way back when he was here before. You see yeah. he and Rich Cannon used to go back and forth all the time. Is that just yeah. part of that relationship between Gruden and quarterback? Yeah, absolutely, because he wants everything to be so perfect, you know. And, uh, you know, his thing is he just wants me – him and I, you know, this stretch of games, we're just trying to get on the same page every play, not just, you know, this is the game plan, this is the idea, philosophy. No, every detail, everything. When he calls this, I know that's what he wants. That, um, and same thing for me. When I'm checking this or checking that, you know, or you told me this, for, but then he'll be like, this, look, that, you know, so a lot of back and forth. So we're just learning each other. And again, it's, no one wants to hear it, but it is a process. You know, it is. We got to, it takes time. And uh, we were able to communicate. And the beautiful thing about that is people saw that happen. And then we, we went down, we won the game. We still communicated, you know, we still hugged it out, you know, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. But even if we didn't win the game, we'd be fine. I'd go in there, we'd talk, I'd get on the plane, we'd talk again, and everything would be fine. So, yeah, it was good.
So if Lee didn't get a game ball, did he get something for being the peacemaker? You talking about Lee? Yeah. Was he the peacemaker on there? That's what. Yeah. Oh, see, I blacked out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, Lee. Lee. I give him. I give him a few. Two dollars. Give him. Give him two dollars. Derek, how about the, just the nature of this game? I mean, you guys got it down to one. You couldn't put it in. There, there was oh a yeah. It's a stagnant offense on both sides. Just the. Beginning. Yeah. Well, the, here, here's the thing. Now is I think the last two weeks our defense is playing really well. Obviously, they again they're going to want to correct some things, but they're playing good football. You know, good enough. Uh, you know, but. Uh, the thing for us is we're playing a really good defense. Their record doesn't show it, but when you turn the tape on, I think we talked about it earlier, you turn the tape on, you're like, how are these guys only have two wins? You know, it's like, my goodness, they're really good. And uh, they got pro bowlers everywhere, one of the best corners, and I say this being honest, one of the best corners to play the game, in <laughs> Patrick Peterson, one of the best edge rushers. I think he's got like 40 sacks or something since he's been here, you know. Um, you know, they, they got guys, first round picks everywhere, guys that have made plays in the league, 13-year vet, they're good players. So uh, there's going to be ups and downs. That's the NFL. But to be able to see our team grind through when it didn't go well, just like this year, grind through when it doesn't go well, and keep trusting and believing in each other, and good things will happen. And that's why it was really cool for our team. I think the biggest thing I took away from the game was that kind of doing this and all that, the, me and coach and every, you know, all these kind of things are happening. Out of all, it's all out of love and trying to win. And then we go and win the game, and then people start to see, like, Yes, like we just got to believe in one another. That's all, you know, and we did. We stuck together and it was really good. On the fourth and one where John decided to punt the ball, was your reaction yeah. more of a surprise? Did you work one quarter? What was, was yes. Reaction? At first it was like, because I had to look, I had to go back and check the clock. And then once I checked the clock, I was like, okay, time out. Okay. You know, then, then I understood. Like at first I was like, hold on. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. But at, at first I was surprised. But being backed up too, you know, that's that that's hard. You know, when we can, we don't want them to kick a field goal because then now the field goal doesn't win the game for us. And so, you know, I, I completely completely understood. But it's just the initial. I'm in the moment. You're like, what? And then you see, uh, okay, yeah. A couple more guys. All set. You guys got uh, Doug Martin was hurt at halftime. You put him in jail and DeAndre. What did you see from those two guys in terms of stepping up? Yeah, they they stepped up big time. Uh, not only in, uh, running the ball, obviously we saw that, making plays, extending plays. DeAndre running physical like he does. Again, DeAndre reminds me so much of Dominic Davis. I don't know if you guys remember him in Houston, but just stocky, great balance, uh, you know, always falling forward. Just, man, he's such a good player. And uh, we're, we're really glad to have him. You know, I'll, I'll tell you that. I, I love him. He's from Houston. You know, so we got that going for us. But, uh, you know, he, he's a good back, and uh, that's, a, that's, that's this league now. You, as we're finding out this year, when guys go down or pe people got to step up, depth, how important that is uh, to continue to sustain and be able to play well. And we got two good backs that came in. They were great on their assignments. Blitz pickup was awesome. Uh, and so, yeah, yeah, they played really well. Last one right here. I'm sure even like a month ago, you didn't expect to go into a potential game winning drive and see Black Knoll, Aitman, and, and Roberts as your three wide receivers. What has it been like as a quarterback seeing all your top guys just? <laughs> fall over by the wayside here these past couple games. Yeah, it's like uh, Thanos like snapped his fingers and uh, they all vanished, you know. Uh, you know, but uh, but it's good. You know, it's good. I love I love my guys and I'm going to ride no matter what, man. I, I love my guys. Derek, you uh, friendly with Alex Smith at all? Yeah. My, yeah, my goodness. Uh, he broke it. Yeah, uh, my prayers are for Alex. I was praying for him before the game. I love Alex. He's a great guy. Great, great person, uh, great family. Um, so anybody who sees this or, you know, just let them know that Carr family, we're praying for him because I've been there. You know, it, it's tough. So Alex is a great guy, and no, he doesn't deserve that. Nobody does, but he's a great guy. So uh, I'm feeling, feeling for him, praying for him for sure. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks.